Welcome back. Happy Sam Monday. Hey, it's me. Oh my gosh, public holiday throws me off every time. So, it is Monday. I almost said Sunday again. It's Monday, the 25th of September. It's public holiday in WA today. So, it is 6.45 p.m. and I'm drinking a coffee. If you know, this weekend has been flat out. I'm exhausted. I go back to full-time work tomorrow for five weeks. And I know people out there are like, oh, I work full-time all the time. That's fine. I'm also a full-time student and a mum, so it's a lot. Um, normally my week is filled with a mixture of work and school and mumming and all the rest of it but i just did three weeks of unpaid prac and now i need to recoup some funds because financially i'm not feeling it and we've got bills to pay so i've got to go and do that but i'm starting some new jobs and it's going to be great i'm actually really excited i'm not complaining um i we had arthur's little second birthday party at home yesterday and it was so intimate and small and cute and just like exactly what we needed and i'm so glad that we did it like that and didn't do a big party and we agreed like we'd only do a big party every couple of years because like we'd rather spend our money on him and things he needs than you know a party that at this age he's not really going to remember so something super intimate at home with his closest family a little cake smash with his friends and it was honestly just the cutest thing ever jake is at the gym he is on call at the moment and then he's on lates tomorrow night and Wednesday night. Then he's at TAFE Thursday, Friday, and then he's at TAFE for two weeks. So not only is it hectic with me being back at work full time, I haven't seen him for three weeks as it is. And now I'm not really gonna see him much again because he's gonna be home late. Um, and I'm at my new jobs and whatnot. So I don't know what that entails for me yet, but I'm a little bit tired. You can see I've got Gucci bags under my eyes. Um, I have just done a very quick food prep. I kind of just wanted some peace and quiet to myself. I had to go and drop Artie off at my mum's today. Um, we kept him home for the night because again, like it's public holiday today and we wanted to spend some time together. So we like had a breakfast outside, we painted, it was so much fun. And then he had a nap and then I got onto my computer and started very procrastinatedly doing some bits and pieces. I at least got my paper diary up to date got my digital planner up to date. Um, and then I started working on my bank account stuff because I'm trying to do this new thing. So I've reopened my accounts. Well, not the same ones, but I've re, <laughs> I've become a Bankwest customer again um, because Bankwest and Commonwealth Bank are two of the only banks that allow you to have more than two everyday transaction accounts. So like I'm already with ING, I'm already with Westpac. I think Westpac allows it as well, but I'm trying to move away from them because they're really annoying. And I wanted ones where they don't charge you like monthly fees and all the rest of it. Um, and I'm trying this new budgeting method of having separate accounts for everything. So like insurances. So, um, you know, and once I've got it all organized, I'll go through it properly, hopefully by the end of this week. But basically I'm in the middle of writing everything down at the moment, every outgoing we have, including like subscriptions, Netflix, Spotify, all the rest of it, which is what our budget normally entails. But we haven't been able to stick to that for quite a few months now with me being at school and now doing my unpaid prac. So now that we're going to have some solid income coming in between now and Christmas, we want to get back on track, get ahead a little bit, um, and then go from there. So yeah, pretty much I've broken everything down and I want to open up separate accounts. So like all of our insurances, so like our car insurances, our health insurance, um, we've got funeral insurance and home and contents insurance. I want them all to come out of one account. Um, my car payments come out of another account and then have another one for like subscriptions and PayPal and all the rest of it. So yeah, I'm in the middle of setting all of that up at the moment and hopefully that's going to help um, breaking everything up and doing it that way. Um, but yeah, so I've just done a little bit of a food prep. Hello. So How'd you go? Sweaty ass. Ew. Um, but like I said, I just wanted some like quiet time to myself. So Jake went to the gym and then I stayed home food prepped, like no music, no nothing on, just peace and quiet. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've done because Jake and I are trying to <clears throat> not lose weight or anything, but just like get our little healthy habits back. 
obviously like I've been buying like little biscuits and sugary bits and pieces to like help me through my long prac hours um and obviously whatever's in the house like Jake's gonna eat too and then he wasn't really eating dinner properly whilst I was on prac because like I would cook and leave food but then he would just be like I'm not hungry because he missed me <laughs> he was depressed weren't you no he didn't have his eating buddy um but yeah so i was like perfect this week we're back on track um as much clean as ingredients as we can including these organic refined um doritos mexicans <laughs> diet starts tomorrow no we're not going on a diet we are just counting our calories so we're literally just tracking we're in a little bit of a deficit um so i've done I'll show you because, yeah, I usually take those cupcakes to work I'll tomorrow. I can take whatever to work tomorrow. Yeah, I throw everything else out, but take those to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so I did rice, Mexican mince, and steamed veggies for Jake for lunch. And then he's got some fresh berries and some nuts. You've got cereal at mm -hmm. work still yeah. and almond milk. Yep. So you need to finish that and then you can start taking oats. Yep. Um, and you've got a long day tomorrow, so I'll give you like another piece of, or take one of those for the afternoon. Which one do you like? No, you can have both okay, of them. Right. So instead of buying a chocolate from the vending yeah, machine, right, right. do that instead. Alright, so that's that. That's nice and clean for you. Um, make sure you drink lots of water. We got more water away. Um, so that's for Jake. And then don't take my lunch box in the morning. <laughs> and then for myself, I've got my stir fry mince that I made and normally I have it with rice and I'm not trying to like if anything I'm trying to cut out sugars and processed foods um but like to a tea like there's certain things so like low carb bagels still gonna have that uh salt and vinegar harvest snaps they're good for me for the afternoon when I'm on the way home and I want like chips um so my lunch I did lean beef mince with um this little honey soy stir fry stuff that we use and then i found a bag of this in the freezer that i bought a few weeks ago to try veggie rice so it's like carrot collie and broccoli so i just did like three quarters of a bag of that some onions some mushrooms stir fried it all together and added the sauce um and it was a really good mix of like car uh, yeah carbs and protein and like low fat um, because I know that most of my little snacks like my nuts and my little salami sticks and stuff that I eat are higher in fat so I'm trying to make sure that the main meals that I have are more protein and carb focused and then my snacks still have a little bit of protein but that's where the fats will come in because obviously with processed meats and stuff like these are only what did I work it out to be the other day I think like 90 calories um, but it's like five grams of protein and seven grams of fat so but it's a good little snack that and my little protein baby bell cheese that i have one of those so like that's that would be my mid-morning snack for breakfast i'm having my low carb bagel toasted with some feta and some sweet chili sauce because that's what i'm obsessed with at the moment so i'll have that for breakfast like around 9 30 10 o'clock at work have this for morning tea somewhere before lunch have my lunch and then for the afternoon snack which i'll probably eat driving up to my mum's i've got same as jake berries and some nuts and my harvest snack peas and then i for dinner we're having brisket and rice oh, yeah, brisket. yeah not tonight for because i've got leftover pizza that i want to yeah. eat um but yeah so for tomorrow night i will have that ready for when jake gets home um and yeah now i've got to remember how i had this all packed that was there. That was there. No, how did I have it? <laughs> it's a tactile. Like that. Okay, so don't take mine in the morning. You only take the cupcakes and your stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, on top of that, I've also allocated a brown sugar latte that I'll make in the morning and take with me. Um, my sister-in-law gave me the recipe and I've been obsessed with it. So I do a coffee pod with a tablespoon of loose brown sugar, you know, like the, the moist stuff, not the raw sugar, it has to be the loose brown sugar. Um, yeah, so coffee, brown sugar, melt it together. And then I have the little whizzer. So we like whiz it up and then I add ice. And then I cold froth my milk in the Nespresso Arachino thing. And then I put that in the cup, top it up with more ice. And basically like that lasts me until at least lunchtime. Um, so I'll make that in the morning and put it in my Stanley cup and take that with me. 
Um, and then like I said, we're having brisket and rice for dinner. So I'm sitting between 16 and 1800 calories, um, high carbs, high protein, and like my fats are, yeah, I try and do like a 30, 30, 30 split percentages if you know what I'm talking about but I do try and aim for 35% carbs 35% protein and like 25 to 30% um, of fat so and that's like I'm not trying to be low fat I'm not trying to be low carb I'm just going with what works for my body and I'm very carb dependent so like I said I'm trying to keep the fats lower in the meals that I'm cooking so I can have higher fat snacks throughout the day because that's just what works for me um so anyway I'm going to bless this mess because I there's shit everywhere um and then we're gonna go and have showers and i'm gonna have leftover pizza for dinner and then that's pretty much it other than the doritos that jake is currently inhaling um and the pizza i've got left over in the fridge and the cupcakes that he's going to take to work the only like sugary snacks we still have left are like these little almond squ uh, apricot squares that i'm loving which these are like, you know, obviously super high in natural sugars, but that would just be like a, I'll have a little handful before I go for a run or go to the gym. Um, I've got some sesame snacks, some little like um, biscuit and fruit snack bars. I had them in my last vlog. They're like a hundred calories per little packet. And those things I just keep in the cupboard for days where, um, you know, I am gonna train. So I do want a little bit more carbs. Like I've allowed myself like 150 calorie gap between the days where I know I'm not going to have time to train like tomorrow and the days um, where I know I can possibly go and train I have that fluctuation so I try not to go over 2000 but I try and stick yeah to around 1800 so um yeah other than that yeah like I ate most of my biscuits <laughs> I hate wasting food so I didn't have a binge today I just ate like some little bits of, like I had some biscuits and coffee this morning and then this afternoon I had like a little snack box that I took on my drive up to my mum's and back because it's a long drive and I need to stay awake anyway now uh, having my little coffee um but yeah other than that I just need to get some fresh fruit tomorrow to top us up but I've prepped for three full days for Jake and four full days for me bearing in mind I start my new job on Thursday so I'm just gonna obviously take my food with me to eat at her house um, I'm assuming that's fine, but I don't know what the plan is. So if she's got activities planned and we're going out, I'll take all my snacks and leave my lunch meal at hers and then I'll just rejig it. So if I eat something out, I'll have that for dinner when I get home. Um, anyway, that's it. We just chilled out today, had a very quiet day at home. And then, yeah, like I said, Jake's on call. So he's not been able to go too far from home. But anyway, the plan for the week is that stick to our food plan, um, look after each other, I'm back to being a full-time mum um, <laughs> and working full-time. <laughs> I'm scared. No, nah, it'll be fine. But anyway, I'm just rambling. But we'll just see you guys as the week goes. And um, yeah, have a fab week. Hello. Okay, so firstly, apologies because it is 3.30 on Wednesday afternoon and I have not vlogged since I said hi on Monday. Um... I've just finished my shift at Trident. I worked yesterday and today, so I've caught back up. I'm on track. I've had a couple of late nights because I've been trying to organize my finances. Like I said, I've opened up all of our new bank accounts. I didn't need 16, but <laughs> I think there's like six or seven, six or seven new bank accounts all in one. So easy. Everything went Osco straight from Westpac to Bank West, so I didn't have to worry about like you know, sometimes when you get new accounts and you have to, um, uh, you know, so that you make a payment for the first time, but because you haven't made a payment to that account before, it can take like two business days. Um, and then like, you know, you've already given your new debit details to like the, you know, the utility company or whatever. Um, and then, so like they go to take the money out, but then the money's not in there yet. So I wanted to get them all open on like Monday night slash Tuesday. So that I could then send like 50 cents or a dollar to each account, um, you know, so that my Westpac like registers it. And then like, you know, it just breaks that two day business thing. But they went, worked Osco straight away, even with all of like the big amounts I had to send, you know, like once we got paid and stuff. So, okay, it is so, I thought once I started driving, it's going to cool down like it's not actually 37 degrees but like it must be because holy shit okay give mama some air please <sighs> so anyway 
I've organized all the finances. Um, so that's like one big stress taken off my shoulders. Jake did some overtime over the last fortnight and because he got his leading hand position, he got like a little bit of an extra bonus. So that was definitely helpful. Um, you know, I get paid for three days this week. So that obviously helps. And then I start my new job with my family tomorrow. And I'm so excited because that's also fortnightly pay but that falls in between jake's pay cycle so that's going to be a massive help on those in between weeks where normally we only get my few hours from my current job and that's like enough to maybe put like a bit of petrol in our cars and top up on groceries and not much else until jake's fortnightly pay again so having those couple of extra shifts even once i go back to school being able to do um an afternoon and a shift or so on the weekend is just going to make so much difference um so anyway, I feel much less stressed today. I think this is why I didn't vlog yesterday because like I had finished work, went up to my mum's to pick Artie up and if you know, because you've been around for a while, it's quite a distance between where I work and where my mum lives, um, an hour and 20 minute drive. So it's quite a lot. Um, so anyway, I went up, picked him up, hung out at my mum's for a bit and then brought him home. Um, and we just like hung out, unpacked and chilled out for the afternoon. Then like we had showers, he had his dinner, I put him to bed and then I sat down with a drink, a Pepsi um, and I just like kept going because I was like, I want to go and sit on the couch so bad. I'm so exhausted. Honestly, this like post prac come down is legit and nobody has ever talked about this. And the more people I mention it to, they're like, oh yeah, that's a thing. And I'm like, why is no one talking about it? Why did no one tell me? Even if it was just from doing PM shifts and having to readjust to getting up at five o'clock this morning, uh, this week's mornings, that's not fair. Like I literally feel like I've been out partying all weekend. So anyway, it's been lots of coffee, lots of water. Anywho, so we're back on track. We're back on schedule. I've knocked my couple of days out at Trident. Now I get to start with Owen tomorrow. I've got two full days with them. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't have to wear scrubs or anything. She's like, just come, like active wear, casual clothes, whatever you want. Um, and just, we're just going to hang out. So I'm really excited for that. And then it's my little boy's birthday on Friday. So I've got the morning as a later start so that the three of us can have breakfast together and then he'll go to daycare. Um, and then we'll pick him up in the afternoon and then we've got all weekend to celebrate. So we're super excited. Um, but yeah, so again, apologies that I did not check in yesterday. Um, but if you couldn't tell by how flat I was on Monday, that would be it. So anyway, um, Jake and I, we did that massive food prep. So we're like three days into the week. We have stayed on track. Even yesterday, I left my lunch food in the fridge at work because I kind of had a few snacks a little bit later in the morning and I didn't eat my breakfast till like 10 o'clock. So by the time it came to like 1.30, 2 o'clock when I was packing up to leave, I was like, oh, I haven't eaten my lunch yet. I'll take it to mum's and I'll eat it at mum's. But then I got all the way down to my car and was like, oh, my food. And honestly, like I had to get through a swarm of bees to get there. And if you know me, you know, I hate bees. And I just was like, it's fine. I'll stop at the shops on the way to mum's. I needed to get like some fresh fruit and stuff anyway. So I did that and I just got like a little fresh microwave meal that was like um, 300 calories, high protein. And that literally fit perfectly into um the meal that i missed so that was awesome so it means i had lunch today already at work i just had to pack extra snacks um and it's been great we've stayed on track twice like three days in a row now pretty much because we obviously did everything from monday um and again we're not trying to like lose weight or do anything we're just trying to like defluff get ourselves feeling better jake has got a bit of a sinusy sort of cold at the moment so we've been staying away from each other because obviously i cannot afford to get sick and my new client is immunocompromised so that's not really fair if i'm you know doing that um but yeah so anyway tomorrow is an exciting day i'm like just keen i'm on my way to go pick Artie up now from his nonna's house i've done a click and collect um which the only slot i could get was between six and seven because i had my cart ready to go but then jake's pay went in like a little bit earlier today so my plan was to um yeah pay for it tonight when we got paid and then pick it up tomorrow after work but I was like well at least if I do it tonight everything's done I'm going to put Artie to bed Jake's on late again so I'm going to put Artie to bed and I'm just going to do like Mexican mince for me and Jake and we'll just have like tacos or something easy and then um whilst Artie goes to bed and before Jake gets home I'm just going to do a quick tidy up um I've got a couple of baskets of washing that are folded but they just need to be put away um yeah so I'm going to pick Artie up 
hang out up there for a bit because like I haven't really seen everyone properly other than socially with everyone else sort of sit up there and chill out for a bit and then head home and then yeah go and get our groceries come home and unpack those sort Artie out and then get myself sorted for tomorrow my plan is to have dinner with Jake when he gets home and then just get into bed and um yeah just put some youtube on and just de-stress de-chill out for an hour or so and fall asleep um and then yeah i don't have to be there until 7 45 tomorrow morning so my plan is to get Artie up at 6 30 i'll already be ready um I have some breakfast with him and then drop him off at daycare around 7 and then make my way over so i hopefully get there at like 7 30 but i did tell her 7 45 because i'd rather give her a later time than you know say 7 30 and then not be there for 7 30 so yeah um she just messaged me to like check in make sure i'm all still good and whatnot um but yeah so anyway massive de-stress finances are sorted couple of weeks we'll be back on track um you know it doesn't give us much to move and play with right now but luckily i'd already bought Adi a bunch of small presents and put them away just like things that he needs um and where was i going with that oh yeah so done that in so not next week the week after i have the wednesday off and normally Artie would go to his nonna's house i'm going to keep him home and him and i are going to spend the day together we might go and do something um yeah because i just really miss doing that with him so yeah we will see what happens but oh, regardless i just feel like a massive stress has been taken off now obviously not getting paid for three and a half weeks is like mental um you know and having to make all those phone calls today and be like hey sorry we're a little bit behind like what can i do to catch up um and most places are fine they're like cool just call tomorrow make a manual payment and then the next one will come out at the end of next month anyway so we weren't as behind as i thought we were but we definitely had to like we've used all of the rest of our savings um so we didn't have that like security blanket left there so now the plan is to obviously get everything up to scratch my car is due to be serviced um you know all three of our cars regos are due it's just the way that it is you know what it's like murphy's law right what can go wrong will go wrong and not that anything's gone wrong but it's like everything all at once so yeah that's the plan is um the next three or four weeks until i go back to school pretty much so five weeks um is to just get back on track financially so that we've got that one less stress when i go back to school and at that point i should be able to start taking pm shifts and like working around things a bit more um if anything i'll probably drop one day at trident uh just because i just need to stay to do like handover for for, for a couple of months but the lady that i'm handing over with is still only working part-time um and she won't be back full-time until november -ish. so she did say once you've gone and done your two weeks intro at school do you want to come back for a couple of weeks until christmas and uh we can do handover then and i said yep that's fine so i'm just there right now helping out working on some spreadsheets and getting everything finalized and sorted so that it's like proper and even when we had a look yesterday she was like it's actually really neat and tidy so there's not a whole lot to do it's more what extra information does she want for things so yeah i'm excited um i have rambled on for 10 minutes now so i'm going to let you go but um yeah maybe i'll check in a little bit later um and film my typical grocery unpacking and all the rest of it and um tell you what's on the menu for this week so anyway i will see you later okay it is 10 past 6 p.m we're home are we home are we home he's shaking his head no <laughs> um so i just picked up groceries and i'm like so proud because you know i said on monday that we're trying to cut out buying junk and all the rest of it the things that we don't need and we're trying to just snack on like fresh fruits again vegetables and stuff like that so i'm going to turn it around and i'm going to show you what i got so I've, i'm stuck to my guns i've said i'm not buying um you know sugary snacks and stuff that we don't need and we've still got like a little container in here um and we've got some little these are those 110 calorie biscuity snacks i like i've still got a couple of fruit shocks left some sesame snacks um some little crackers some rips so yeah once the sweeter things and that are gone then like that's literally it the rest of the cupboard is like food ingredients to make food 
So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get this little rascal sorted. We're gonna go have showers and then I'm going to put all the cold stuff in the fridge quickly and then I'll unpack the rest later. Um, I think Brock's gonna come over and have tacos with us because Dana's away. Now I've just got to decide which sugar-free drink I would like. Oh, actually, I think I have one open in the fridge, so I do. I've got Pepsi. Okay, anyway, love you, bye. We're watching our kids growing up in a flash. Don't it feel like the good times go by too fast? Yeah, I wish time would take a little slower. Sometimes it feels like a blink and then it's over. Better soak it in. Better make it last. so much to do but normally you know I would finish my vlog on a Saturday morning um, but that was you know a little bit redundant this week um, so I think the last time I vlogged and I won't know until I edit this and put it together I think it was the day that I was leaving Trident on Wednesday and I was saying about how I started my new job on Thursday um anyway i don't i can't remember if i vlogged any after that but so anyway i did my two days at my new job and it was great um i yeah like it was i felt like it was a full-on two days but it was myself and another girl together because sorry my nose is itchy i just turned the aircon on <laughs> um so they were my buddy shifts and then this week coming I'm doing three full days um, but just with his mum because the girls are at prac and uni and all the rest of it which is why they needed someone to come in and do like quite a few days a week um, in October. So yeah we've got quite a jam packed schedule next week we're going out Wednesday and Thursday so that will be kind of cool. Um, I got to like see a lot of his appointments over the last week so like you know I it was good because they actually like taught me a lot of like what they're trying to you know get out of him just to like help me understand a little bit as well so that was quite good um but yeah so that was thursday friday um saturday we well obviously friday was Artie's birthday as well so jake had a late start and the three of us had breakfast together and then Artie went to daycare for the day and they actually threw him a little party so Artie had a daycare party it was super cute um but yeah so that was good i got an early finish so i picked him up and we went to the park and we had a little Biscoff storm from Hungry Jacks um, and some chippies and we just sat at the park together and he actually sat still next to me for five minutes just like eating the ice cream with me just chatting to me it was like the sweetest thing ever um, if you're on my TikTok you would have seen like the little time lapse video that I put up and yeah like that was a four and a half minute video that I you know time lapse down to 30 seconds or something so it was just really nice it was nice to have that time with him and then Jake got home so we had like an early dinner so that we could oh actually no we made Arthur early dinner and then Jake and I had afternoon tea because it was like one of those days for us um, and a coffee and we sat at the table with him while he ate his dinner and then we had like his little birthday cupcake because we would had so many cakes already but we did a little birthday cupcake we sang to him we read lots of books and he was knackered from daycare so he went to bed about 
quarter to seven, I think. Yeah, like 6.45, so a little bit later than normal, but that's kind of happening at the moment, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so he went to bed after Uncle Brock got there so he could say happy birthday. And he slept from seven o'clock when he pretty much had fallen asleep until nine o'clock Saturday morning. Now, that was a good thing though, because I, I wanted him to sleep in because we had his two year pediatric appointment, which isn't a normal thing. It's just that we had this, we signed up to this program at the hospital, um, you know, to help them with their research when he was a newborn. And yeah, so we thought we may as well follow it through. And it was really cool. So he got up, we had breakfast, and then him and I headed off to his appointment. Jake was working. Um, and the appointment was really cool because it was nice to actually sit down and watch him do educational things that like we don't do those things with him much like he does them at daycare and stuff so like counting and like obviously we do those things but not in that like teachery classroom kind of situation so you know that they, they were like we need you to just sit and just watch um, if we want to um, know more things we'll ask you questions if there's anything that you think is like detrimental to why he's not doing something let us know so there was a couple of things where like they would use like dog and coffee as where he's like he knows it as puppy and cuppa you know and i'm like we live in australia bro like that's just the lingo so anyway they were really impressed with him the fact that he'd literally just turned two on friday and that like brain development wise he's a month behind because he was born a month early but they said that he's pretty much doing everything that they would expect him to be doing they said he like clearly loves running around and whatnot um she was like try and do some or like fine motor skill things so you know like Arthur I'm going to do this do you think you can copy mummy and I tried it at breakfast this morning so we had strawberry slices and blueberries and I was like Arthur look what mummy's doing I've got my strawberry slice that has a hole in it and I'm going to put the blueberry on it to make it look like an eye and he literally copied me he did the exact same thing and Jacob was like oh what so his fine motor skills themselves are good and he's very technical with how he does things but it's like following instructions and stuff and I was like bear in mind he is still just two years old so I was like he doesn't need to be jumping over hurdles um but yeah so that was really interesting and I was like super grateful that we got to have that appointment because it was really nice to watch him he's he's actually so clever um but yeah it's just given me that little bit of fire to like really try and hone down on some of his skills spend a little bit more time doing some like fine motor skills and cognitive things like colors and counting um, and yeah, like he loves doing puzzles and stuff. So it was really cool. So <clears throat> it's now Sunday. Um, it is 11.08 a.m. I have just got to the shops. I'm going to treat myself with my pedicure voucher today that I got for my birthday. Um, we got up a little bit earlier this morning and Jacob said last night he wanted to take Artie out on an excursion today with um, Jack and Brock, our best friends, by himself. And I was like, you know what? That's great because you haven't done that for a very long time. And that's just because the weekends are our family time. So like we always just do things together. But um, yeah, so they uh they said that last night so i said all right perfect so i got up just before eight and i made us pancakes for breakfast and then yeah the boys got there about just before nine and we got arty dressed to go and they are at the airplane museum and they're having an absolute ball he's been sending me photos and he's like arty is loving it so um i cleaned the whole house you'll see my little tiktok i made i cleaned the house i did some washing and whatnot and i got myself ready and i'm now at the shop so i'm going to get myself a coffee get my pedicure done and then i've got some birthday money that Artie got so i'm going to go to kmart and big w and see if i can get him some like big blocks or like anything to help with like his counting and his colors um yeah so we will see how we go but i just wanted to say thank you again for tuning into another weekly vlog someone's parking next to me and it's like super awkward because i'm just don't haven't vlogged in public for a while but anyway thank you so much for watching again um i've had a few of you reach out to me on instagram and stuff as well saying that you are starting school which is amazing and if you have i wish you all of the best um i have quite a full week coming up and it's obviously quite hard for me to vlog the days that i am doing my support work job because obviously like it's not I'm, i don't have time to like film things and stuff like that so um i don't know what my vlogs will look like now i'm thinking maybe i might go to fortnightly just for the next couple of weeks until i go back to school and i get into a bit of a routine um i do want to do a you know um i finished my first placement here's what i needed here's what i used here's what i thought that i needed that i didn't and just give you a bit of a rundown about that because i haven't really done that so that's an idea that i've got and then i will also update you on job stuff um i have my formal interview at the place that i did my prac 
um, on Monday afternoon. I'm going to see them. They rang me actually um, to check in and make sure that I still wanted a job. So that was really nice. So yeah, between that and everything else, I just need to get my routine sorted um, and figure things out. So yeah, I will keep you up to date. But again, thank you so much for watching and for being here. And don't forget to at least subscribe so I know that you're here. Um, and hello to all of our new friends. My name is Hayley and this is my channel of absolute chaos and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Good morning friends, happy Sunday! My husband has taken my kid for the day so let's get into this house cleaning because what else would I do when I have half a day to myself? Um, I made us pancakes for breakfast but I only used half the batter because the boys were in a rush to go. So I cooked up the rest of them and I've just put them in the freezer because Archie can have them during the week. I put everything in the kitchen away, stacked the dishwasher, washed some dishes, just got everything really tidy. It's been a pretty hectic couple of weeks here so I haven't had a chance to like go through and just do everything from room to room. So I spent about an hour and a half. It didn't take long but I just had a lot of things I wanted to put away that, you know, had been out for a little bit. So I got the kitchen done first. And then I decided to vacuum everything as well. Here's me putting away the 87 cars that are laying around my house at the moment because I swear that's all Artie got for his birthday. Um, so I just put everything back in its place, left him some activities out and put the rest away. And then I went through and vacuumed the house. And because our cat loves sitting on our dining room chairs, they all needed a good vacuum as well. Um, you can see him over in the corner sitting on the couch because he's so scared of the vacuum um and then yeah here's me just cleaning the rest of my house and again vacuuming my couch because the cat has been shedding at the moment with the summer season coming oh my gosh so much hair I swear I've just been breathing it in and I keep like waking up choking during the night I also haven't done one of these little videos for a while um you know things have been a little bit cray cray if you know you know uh, I went in, I had to put some of Artie's birthday presents away, hang up some of his new clothes he got, just tidy everything up. His room doesn't get too messy, I don't let it sort of get out of control. Um, there's my two baskets of washing that need to be folded, but I'll do that tonight with my husband. Oh, I just remembered I've got to go put these towels in the dryer. Um, I always dust my dryer out with the vacuum every now and again, at least once a week. So I put my towels on, so I've got fresh towels for tonight. Um, grabbed something to wear, moved on to my room and again it's like things don't get too messy it's more so just putting things away. You'll see when we get to my wardrobe in a minute I just have been I pulled everything out that I wanted to sell I put photos up and then I sold most of it but some of it's still sitting there some of it I need to deliver some of it people need to pick up so yeah things are being a little bit chaotic in my wardrobe but again it doesn't take me long this whole thing took me an hour and a half today to get everything sorted and then I got to leave the house so it was great but here's me just yeah putting things away it's probably a lot of me like getting dressed and realizing no I don't want to wear this this is too big now and then throwing things on the floor chucking an ADHD tantrum because if you know you know um oh my gosh I forgot how tedious it can be doing these things sometimes there you go wardrobe's done time for me to get myself freshened up and head out so these tanks actually i got asked about them in my last video they're the new like ribbed tanks from kmart they're only 10 bucks and they're so good i've got it in black and brown they're comfy af so here's me brushing my teeth and then i'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare just vitamin c which i need to buy some more of and some moisturizer i'm really loving this one i've noticed a difference in like the plumpness of my face i get a bit funny sometimes feeling like i look too daunt after my weight loss um but yeah no i've noticed a difference in my face which has been nice it's been like three weeks now which is good and here's me dressed i think this whole section was three minutes long before i time lapsed it so you know if you're a mum three minutes is a long time sometimes of uninterrupted getting readiness I packed my little bag, so I just had to take the things I needed. I had my voucher to get a pedicure, which is why I decided to go out. And here's me walking into the shops with my book. So excited that I get to sit down for half an hour, put my phone away and just read with my delicious coffee. This is actually a really nice coffee this morning. 
I got there, they were fully booked for an hour and a half and I just knew that I couldn't be bothered. So I decided to go to Kmart and get Artie some more playing things with his birthday money and then picked up some snacks for the week. Got these little protein chocolate square peanut things from Coles to try and they were actually really delicious. Like one serve is like 150 calories and it's five of these little triangle uh, rectangles. So anyway, I walked out, sad that I didn't get my nails done, but anyway, it was nice to have some time to myself. So here's what I got Artie with his birthday money and I got myself one of these to try. See you on the next one. Hey, it's me.